All right, we're back on this. You see this is no longer in the 200 micron range. That's because if you see here, I turned off the vacuum source. And now I'm just reading through the hoses, the system. But I'm also not just reading the system, any contaminants that are in your refrigerant hoses. But as you see, it jumped straight up. As soon as I turned off the vacuum source, it jumped up and then it started leveling off. And as you see, it's starting to level off and eventually it'll go flat and it won't move anymore. Well, that means you don't have leaks under vacuum, but you can have leaks under pressure. But what that is, is that's the moisture level inside the system and it'll level off right there. Now you can see well, I had to restart it because I lost. I was up to the 45 minute mark right now. I'm going into an hour and I got down to 200 and 266 microns and I shut it off at about the 45 minute mark. Uh, I lost contact, had to restart, reconnect. And so I started again and then I shut it off for you guys and you can see where it's going up to about 1400 microns. Now that's the moisture content in the system. Now, if I put it back on the vacuum pump for another hour, two hours, it'll go back down to 266 and it might even go below. It might go down to say 180, 190, somewhere like there, 120. And while the vacuum is on, but then when you valve it off and you stop the vacuum, and you go for your rise called your decay test. This is your decay test. It's after you turn off the vacuum and you wait. And you wait until it levels out. And as you see, it's coming to a level pretty soon there. And so the second time you do it for another hour or two, you might notice that when it decays, it might stop at somewhere around 600 microns. I'm just giving you a, a number, a guesstimate. And then you go, okay, well, 600 is not good enough. I haven't reached that 500 or refrigeration or what you should do on, but everybody's lazy. They like to go to 500 microns. Now for cars, that's okay. Uh, but on refrigeration, you want to do that 200 after raising and turning off. If you could get somewhere around the 200 mark in microns, that's excellent for hard copper pipe on a new system. Um, so you might see the second time it stops at 600 microns. And uh, that means you're almost dry, you're, per you're pretty good. Good enough for government work for a car. Um, but if you really have the time and you would love to experiment, leave it on the vacuum pump overnight and then see how low you can get and then valve off the vacuum pump. And remember yesterday you, were, you came down to 600 microns when it flat lined and peaked out. Well, maybe after going for 24 hours, when you turn off your vacuum, it might go up to say, 480 or 510 and every time you try to do that it will take longer and longer to get smaller and smaller improvements it's not linear it's kind of like exponential it's on a bell curve and it's um what's that cost to value ratio or product ratio um it gets your performance to achieve a lower number takes much more work to get there. So it becomes really difficult to get really low numbers. You really have to go a lot of hours to get down there. Uh, but you are always limited by your refrigerant hoses. If you're trying to use a micron gauge testing through your hoses, you can never have it hold lower than what the limitation of your refrigerant hoses are. And that's where I get back into telling you, you use the individual micron gauge tapped off that you could valve off so you cut off your hoses, you know, seal them up, and your micron gauge is located at the other end of the ball valve with no hose. So you're only reading the pipes and the hoses of the system. You're not reading the decay of your refrigerant hoses. All right, guys, I'm going to turn this on here. I'll let you see it turn on. So I'm going to turn it on right here, and you'll see it jump down. There it goes. And so I'll let that go another 15 minutes and I'm getting ready to charge this now. All right, enough for now guys. I'll see you. Micron gauge proves to you without a shadow of a doubt what is actually going on and how much moisture is still left in the system. It doesn't matter what your time, oh, I leave it on for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. That means absolutely nothing. If your micron gauge still tells you you're still at 300 microns after you turn it off, you're still dead loaded with a ton of moisture. You leaving it on a vacuum pump for one hour did nothing. You might as well be pissing in the wind because that's all you're achieving. All right, I'll see you.
you ain't testing, you're guessing. <laughs>